guys, how's it going? This is Rabbit's Master back on the air once again, and today I'll be continuing Nikabara Volume 2. Now if you remember what happened last time, I kind of showed my uh, side for Coconut Drive. I don't want to get into that. Please. Anyways, uh, I'm now being a father by Vanilla. Of course she's told me this. <laughs> At least I'll admit this one, Kasha was an idiot, and he has a burger. <sighs> you were the one who decided to watch that DVD vanilla. Prepare the apple pie's crust. I then hand it over to Vanilla, who is making the lattice to go over the top. Please, no. For no, you're the real pervy pastry puffer here. Liar. You just extremely hate it, don't you? Wait, you don't? We chat among ourselves as we work. And I confirm the amount of stock we have and transfer it into the refrigerator. Well, oh, cat girls are pretty open with that sort of thing. You and Chocolate aren't shy, that's for sure. It's definitely different from humans, though. Yeah, you think? And to be honest, I'm, I've... I know this even though I've never dated anyone. I uh, still haven't signed on about you yet, whether to upgrade you to premium. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> been here the whole time, haven't you? Um, thanks. Yeah, thanks, and uh... I can't tell you're blushing a lot. Okay. She wants attention. I can kinda tell already. Well, don't ask me. She's go been going all out since she got here today. She's got a bit caught up in the commotion earlier. Sure, go ahead. Uh, just a sec, Kazuki. I want to test something. It's gonna pattern. It's not the best angle to brush the pie from. You have to lay the brush flat on its side, like this. Take Kazuki's hand from behind her. Still holding it, and then the egg covered brush across the pie to show her how it's done. I was partially right while touching her. At least. Hopefully, it's not in the wrong places. Eh. Just like that. You don't want to put too much on. You want a little bit of glaze, well. Uh, that's okay. What's wrong? <laughs> oh god. Uh huh. No, it has to go on the pie. I've never seen Suki be this flustered before. There's no way that this is coincidence. Nah, there is no coincidence. Seriously, Suki, what's wrong? You've been acting strange all day. <laughs> Liar. I am not an idiot. Mm. Azuki, how much of an idiot do you think I am? Mm. Epinella knows. <laughs> of course. She's like a sweet. 
It's like smeared. <laughs> I swear to God. You really are a troll sometimes, you know that? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I cannot just I cannot be serious with that kind of face Vanilla's making. Cheer. Wait, are you just leaving now? D what? <sighs> this got awkward. Mm -hmm. yeah. No kidding. You don't need to tell me that. Yeah, that's right. There's always something to do. Mm. Not really sure what's gone into Azuki. Well, it doesn't seem like she wants to get into detail about it right now, anyway. We do need to get back to work, though. The two of us remain silent as we work. I like that. I'll have to taste it. I turn to face her. Up the counter is a bowl filled with our bakery signature custard. Mm, it really doesn't take you long to get the hang of things, huh? I'm reminded of her skill yet again. It's only been a little while, but Azuki is now back to her usual self. Maybe she's right. There really was nothing to worry about. I won't be so sure about that. I feel like we're gonna be jinxed about here. It's on the shelf above you because you're short. She appears under the counter in her search. Oh. She hits her head. No. Watch out! I catch the ball before it hits the ground. Because there's still splatters everywhere. Uh, are you okay, Azuki? Did I get on you? Ah, uh, she's covered with some. Uh, some gone on your face. Sorry. Looks like none gone on your clothes, though. Good. Mm. I can just wash my hands off, or lick them off, one or the other. But you need a bath. <sighs> what? So covered in custard, she looks down dejectedly. <sighs> Come on, that looks so sad. It's not like we need the custard right this moment anyway. I'm sorry, that. Who cares? It's just custard. I'm more concerned about you. What? She blushes and looks away awkwardly. Ah, oh boy. I mean, it really isn't that big of a deal. There's definitely something up with her today. She's being strangely reserved and way too modest. As I wonder, I look at the custard. I look some of the custard that remained um, that remained in my hands off. Well, there, there, there. Hmm? Hey, this is delicious. Well, I don't want to go waste. I just thought that'd be a waste if I didn't uh, at least taste it. You and I have the same mind, my friend. Remember the five second rule? Suck. Lick. Lick, lick, lick. Never taught you how to make custard, but you still did uh, such a stellar job on it. Lick, lick. Don't come near me. Don't come near me. She fishes relentlessly, pressing her fingertips together. She steals a quick glance at me. Seriously, what's left of the... You are dense as all hell, man. It's almost as if she has something she wants to tell me, but... Do you want to try it too, Azuki? Just like it off of yourself. I mean, after all, 
You should be capable of cleaning yourself since you're a cat. Shots fired. I no. I just thought you might want to try some. That's really good. Here. Really? I extend my cousin covered hand toward Azuki's face. Dude, you don't. Dude, you don't need to give her your hand. She she can lick it off of herself. I don't like those voice. Okay, you have to do a list of things and noises that you don't want to hear. And harem. Things you don't want to hear in a harem. A lot of things. Though she's very hesitant, she nods in agreement. Oh, there's a spoon over there you can use. You screwed up big time. Mmm, boy. Huh? Okay, why is the ball on the ground? I thought he caught it. No. Her tiny hands grab hold of mine. And her quivered tongue shyly coils around my fingers. At least it's the only image you're showing. Uh, uh, Zuki? Wait, uh... Huh? You... You're like a child. I go high in the corner. Gotcha. You need to go to the corner of shame. And when you'll leave, and you're only allowed to leave when you no longer bring shame to this family that you're in. You know what, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna have it from all this. Her pity tongue explores my fingers. Ew. As she laps up the custard from me. Oh god. Now, why do I feel like this video is going to be kicking down my door every time that someone comes and like this? No, no. <sighs> Azuki's feverish expression. And the sensation of slimy and tingly. Ew. She wasn't lost her tongue on my fingers. Damn, this is way too erotic. Yeah, you think? I find myself completely unable to move in this situation. <sighs> oh, fuck. Oh, God. Ew, I can see the drool off her lips. Ew. Oh, God. Oh, God, no, no. I don't want to go into bed with you. Why is there so little on his hand? You screwed up. Her tongue crawls from my fingertips to my palm. And then to the back of my hand. Ew. So badly. Absolutely gently. The slightly t rough texture of her tongue feels amazing. Of course, she's a cat. A cat's tongue are like sandpaper. But I just feel like one of them is going to be clanking down the door any minute now. Like how, how happened with Jack when uh, he was doing a Yogi Doki Doki Lever Club. Uh, it's like, oh god, I feel like the FBI is going to be kicking my door any minute now. Bust down door. Hi, Jack! Jerry, I, I can explain. Oh god. An electrifying pull shoots through my body. Oh, I'm... I mean, yeah, they look nice, but I wouldn't say that. Ew, no. Uh, 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 it's as if she was filleting my fingers. Tongue wraps around them as she slurps and sucks noisily. She should have been done by now. There's not that much on his hand. Get Azuki. The moan spills out of my mouth at this unexpectedly pleasurable sensation. So, 
I passed the ad. My poor hand, I feel so weird. Uh, it's okay, it's nothing you should apologize for. I was just a little surprised. Just... I thought you would use a spoon or something to try it. Never thought you would look at it straight off my hand, Suzuki. Huh? A teaspoon? Ah, oh, boy. I was saying for you to use a spoon. Yep, she lost it. Sh shut up. Mate. Please don't come near me. <laughs> She's freaking out. She turns her back to me and clings to the refrigerator. Guess even Azuki can make mistakes sometimes. She pounds against the refrigerator while muttering under her breath. Uh, well, um, you know? I mean, uh, I don't really mind your, uh, family, right? Oh boy. She's be- She's really embarrassed. That's because you fell for me. <sighs> you don't need to die. She flings her curses at the refrigerator as she leans against it. Well, I'll leave her be for now. I'll try to ignore the scene in front of me. Good idea. I know it is. Okay, you're freaking out too much. Yeah, I just lost it. <laughs> Fuck. Enough, Aizuki. Go take a breather and calm down. It's not a big deal, Aizuki. You need to calm down a bit, alright? Give her some alone time. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. So they're just like, ah. We are enjoying this, huh? Oh god. <laughs> no, she's in there with him, isn't she? And what's. I just didn't say for now. I just... No, I just... I don't want to know, please. <laughs> well, anyways, uh... Equally as, uh... Weird chapter, um... But at least parts, um... It's okay freaking out, like in my hand. Kind of concerning, so, uh... I don't want to know what's going to happen next. Anyways, um... That's about it for today, uh... Thank you guys for watching watching this. Um, if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment down below. And if you're new right here, why not subscribe to watch more content just like this. Well, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this. Until next time, this is Rouse Master signing off. Bye, guys.